Good morning, Mr. Uh, James Landau, BBC. Um, you agree with Ed Miliband on Europe. I just wonder what else you uh, agree with him about. For example, do you share his critique of the business world and current modern capitalism? And secondly, if I may, um, why are you not sharing a platform with him? <coughs> Is, is he intimidated by your past electoral success, or is he embarrassed by your current reputation? Right. Um, I think, if you, if you don't mind, I think it's perfectly sensible. I make a speech in Europe today, and is, I think, down in Bristol campaigning on the National Health Service, and uh, we're a party that can do more than one thing at once. Uh, <laughs> completely with what he said about the central challenge of inequality in our country today. Uh, I think he's absolutely right to know that the times have changed, that this is a huge issue for people, and I think he's got an excellent set of policies to deal with it. So I've got Sophie and Chris. Who are they? Hi, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Baird. Chris Hitt from uh, ITV News. Uh, you've just said that as a country we've been through the near-death experience of the referendum uh, in Scotland. Is it not true that Labour's potentially facing an actual death experience in Scotland right now? And do you regret setting in motion that chain of events which has led to this surge uh, in nationalism? And what do you think uh, went wrong in Scotland? Secondly, I can ask two questions, Mr Blair, as you're, as you're here. Um, you still think Edmund Bank can win, I presume that's uh, very much the case. When did you change your mind? You won three elections by being on the centre ground. You said that's the only way to win elections. You now clearly think that it's possible for Labour to win an election by being to the left of the centre. I've always had a view that Ed can win, and I'm sure and, and hope that he will. Um, as for the situation in Scotland, look, I think we were absolutely right to introduce devolution. This has been a debate, by the way, if you go back in history in the 19th century, it dominated politics, the whole question of devolution then, for many, many years. Um, we do face a tough challenge in Scotland. But we've got a great new leader of the Scottish Labour Party, um, and we've got a great case to make. And I'm one of those people, despite everything, who remains optimistic that in the end reason breaks through. And I'm sure it will in the case of Scotland too. Yes, you must be Sophie. Uh, I'm Sophie, sorry. Right, you're Sophie. <laughs> right. Uh, Sophie Ridge, Sky News. Do you find it upsetting that even though you won three elections, there's still a significant number of people within the Labour movement who view you as a hindrance rather than a help to Labour's election chances? And are you planning on sharing a platform with Ed Miliband at any point during this campaign? Well, as I just said to you about sharing a platform, I'm delighted to be on many platforms with Ed over a long period of time. And I just so that you understand this and get this fully, I support him 100%. Secondly, you know, one of the things that I experienced even when I first became Labour leader is there's, there's always been disagreement within the Labour Party. Um, different people who have different views about how we should approach things. But the important thing is what we share in common. Right. What we share in common is a deep and profound belief in social justice, in the belief that it is the purpose of a Labour government to bring opportunity to those people that don't have it, and a belief also that it is right that our society and our country and its economy are run in the interests of the many and not the few. And those are values that unite the Labour Party, they're what keep us strong, and they're what should see us on course for a general election victory on May the 7th. chance to mingle. I know I'll be talking to some of the local media uh, later when visit the Hitachi plant. Uh, thank you guys for coming uh, all the way up from London. I hope it was productive. <laughs> not sure I mean that sincerely. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm sure, it, I'm sure it's, uh, it's always a great thing to be involved in the election campaign. And thank you all, most of all, all of you for coming along today. It's been an absolute pleasure to be with you. Thank you.